That's kind of sad. Next, please no. take a look at this. Oh, what is it? What is it? He did a little. He did a little snap. A Splatoon? Is this Splatoon? This is Splatoon three. This is Splatoon three. He's gotta be. No. I don't think this is Splatoon now. It's Kirby! Oh, I saw something about this on Twitter. <laughs> it's Kirby's Awakening. <laughs> it's a 3D Kirby game? No way! Dude, this is so cool! He's in like the abandoned mall! He's so bouncy. Is that amusement park? Dude. That is so cool in 3D space. It's a Gata. <laughs> He's what? The Waddle D. Okay, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. King Kong? That is sick. When does it come? It's gotta be next year, right? I mean, yeah, obviously, it's going to be next year. Spring 2022? Okay, that looks cool. I know for a while it's a rumored 3D Kirby game, but I didn't know that they actually announced it. For Kirby and the like now. In this new game, that looks so good. Areas using familiar Kirby moves. <laughs> Look how weird he looks. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled it's with like, abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? It's Kirby's anniversary this year, right? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. Man. We hope you look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. Wait, what is it? Please take a look. It's another another banger. We're about to get another big announcement. <gasps> Animal Crossing! Animal Crossing! It's in it's the cafe! Yes! Oh my gosh, finally we get Brewster in the roost. Wait, 24 hours? I knew we had to get something Animal Crossing, but... Oh my gosh. That music, it's... Oh, we're getting the Animal Crossing direct in October? Oh my gosh, we're Since gonna get a big update. The Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed. Oh by new my gosh. The world. New free content I knew it. In November. I knew he would come this fall, man. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. More details. We'll go over the content in more detail. Okay. Wait, wait, is that Please the interior? The look out for the air date of this presentation. Oh my gosh, dude. This music is getting me so Let's move reminiscent. Let's more Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> you guys don't understand. One of my favorite parts about Animal Crossing is just the music. It's, Two oh. Games, one game thank you, Nintendo. It's been so long since we've had something that's, like, really more meaty. How was that? It's good. Next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Oh. Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online. Give us something new, please. Tell us. As a part of this new plan's content. Please give us something. Oh, so it is Nintendo 64 games. This was so heavily rumored. You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Wait, then why would you want to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that. Why would they? Why would they put Super? Mo why would they put Mario 64 on this when they just released it in a 3D? Whatever. I don't know. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games. Okay. Game Boy. What? You can play what? A collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. Are 
Sega and Nintendo that tight now? Like, what is? <laughs> You'll be able to play these Echo. And wherever you'd like. I would never expect that. She called Sega Online now. <laughs> as well as the ability to play the included That's Nintendo cool. 64 and Genesis games. I guess Sega and them are this buddy, buddy buddies Online. now. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. Wait, is it more money? Please don't tell me it's more we'll money. Share Ristar! Well Dude, I've been wanting to play Ristar for a while now. Well, I played it on the Sega Genesis little handheld. Pokemon Snap, that's cool. Paper Mario. S Banjo and Kazooie. I'm well, definitely playing Banjo and Kazooie. Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can this be was the remote the that was all over the place. The original releases. Sega is really wow. Both can be used wirelessly. I'm surprised Sega really did this with Nintendo. Oh, oh, Mimoto oh, oh. <gasps> Mimoto! What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, oh Mario. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination. Oh, we're gonna get a trailer. CEO and producer Chris Melodandrisan. I'm looking forward to this. Movies like Despicable Me and Sing. Dude, Europe they had to have Charles Martinet voice Mario. Jack Black is Bowser. The one and only Jack Black. <laughs> no way. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jack. Hey, that'd be kind of funny. He's Keegan Michael Key. He's the Toad. Okay, this is gonna be a completely different movie than I thought it'd be. Kind of wish Charles Martinet was voicing Mario, but Please that's cool. Forward. Next. We'd like to show you this. Okay, it's gonna be a, a draw, a bid drop. What is this? What is it? Splatoon 3! Splatoon 3! Whoa, this sounds like Sonic, uh, Sonic Adventure! Dude! This is like... Flounder hides on crack. <laughs> That's the crab! That's the crab! It's a dang tank! Oh my gosh! Oh my, it's a, what's it called? Dang, um... Spider-Man? Elastigirl? What am I witnessing right now? Story mode, story mode. They're all furry. Wait, why are they still the bad guys, though? Oh, he's in, <laughs> he's on the back. Dude. What is that landscape? Oh, Kelly Marie. What is that gun? It's the... Lanterns. What was that? It's so much. <laughs> God, DJ Octavius on tank or mech? Dude, there's snow. What is this game anymore? Where are you gonna be? <laughs> what? Oh, no, got me. Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. What, what else you just you saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Oh, yes. Allow me to share a bit of what Give we me know more. So <laughs> Splatoon 3 okay. takes place in Splatsville. Splatsville? We know this. It's known as the city of chaos. Mm -hmm. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings and jellyfishes, don't leave them out. generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Okay, we, we can't expect that. The rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink Dude, the that's cool how it's layered. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new That's main weird. And special weapons. That's so cool. I can't wait for that one. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single player campaign. Return, Return. of the mammalians. What the heck? The reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme what? of story mode. What? 
What could this possibly see, we saw Judd. in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? We're gonna definitely get a Dread next, next year sometime. But we'll continue with our research. Okay. We'll keep you updated once more results become Ooh, available. Ooh, dang. Please look forward to more. Platoon <laughs> 3. <laughs> Man. Test fire? Updates test fire? To come. Please? See you next time. Okay, no, we had test fire next year. That was epic! So, what did you think? Oh, man. Splatoon 3 Animal Crossing and Splatoon in the same stream? <laughs> 2022. Stay on schedule, please. Please look forward to future updates. Oh, man, that looks so cool. I, that okay. Spider Man ability looks sick.